and you bring it up and you squeeze and you take it down and you squeeze and you bring it up and you squeeze and you bring it down and you squeeze it. <laughs> you think we can eat all this kale like it's just a regular size meal? Hang on. Okay, we have our S blade and our food processor. We've washed and I've cut out the stems and just put them over to the side. So we're just gonna pulse. We're gonna break it down so it's more of a doable size and it's so much easier on your digestion. We're gonna, see I have in my S blade right here. We're gonna put it into the bowl. See, it makes pieces about this size, very, very small, chewable pieces, okay? Easier to digest so you don't find whole kale leaves in your potty the next morning, you know? Hang on. Again, again. Okay, it's one and a half tablespoons of raw tahini. One tablespoon of lacuma powder, raw powder. One fourth cup of apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother. About half cup water. About half to a tablespoon of chili powder about one tablespoon dulse flakes and then we're going to whisk this together not with the spoon that's not going to work is it all i want for christmas is my two front teeth, two front teeth. now with the lacuma powder as you are whisking this together it's gonna help bind everything together without having to use a blender. And once we get it all mixed up and it sits a minute, sorry, I know that sounds annoying. What's gonna happen is it's gonna thicken up. See how liquidy it is right now? Do y'all see that? I'll be right back to show you how it thickens up. Hang on. another half tablespoon of the lacuma powder and as this sits here a bit it's going to thicken up so I'll show you the end product of that so you could either then pour that over a salad or use it for a dip or whatever I could just wrap up my greens and peppers or some other taste explosions into these are my favorite nori wraps right here you get them on rawnori.com it's a very reputable company and um, safely harvested and you get free shipping. These things are, this is a 50 pack and I wanna think it's about $13, but you get free shipping and so that's really great. They don't taste fishy, they hold together nicely unlike some other um, raw noris. I wanted you to see how this is, see how this is thickening up? Do y'all see that? give it a couple more minutes to thicken up see oh you can tell better on that look see 
And then I could add in my, this is three pounds of kale right here, right under. It was about two pounds and two and three fourths pounds. So almost three pounds. I could basically let the kale marinate in that and then roll it up in my nori wraps. I think that's what I'll do. So hold your horses. Okay, now see, as the kale goes down and blends in with the marinade, with the dressing we made, this is almost, um, we'll call it two pounds because I have a little bit left over there, but look what a doable size that is. And no, I'm not saying everybody has to have that much greens, but I like to have it, and it really is the cornerstone for my healing and health, to tell you the truth, greens, baby. So anyway, now we're gonna roll these up, but as you see, very decadent. It smells delicious. Hang on. Okay, so what you can do is you take your nori wraps. Now this side that has a look, it's still glossy, but it has more of a matte finish. This is the side you wanna put your ingredients on, okay? And the slick side goes on the outside. You can just wet these ahead of time, about an inch in, but I'm gonna show you that right here. I put a little water in a bowl. And you can just basically wet the edge, okay? And that's gonna make it stick, all right? So you wet that whole edge right there. Then, and you don't have to get it as wet as far in because the, the kale and all is already a little moist. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can put as much of, of this in here or as little. You could put some green onions but, or anything. You could put peppers or you could even put a little dates lining up in there if you wanted something sweet. But I ate all mine. Just trying to give you an idea and what I do is I usually put it over here a little bit to this side of the half mark okay so that you're gonna take the edge you're gonna fold it over and when you're right here you're gonna do a pullback okay like you're tucking in the covers under your feet at night so the monsters don't get you do y'all see that and then you roll it on over to the wet side over there do you see you're gonna lose a little bit of this because it's obviously finely chopped you slide it over here you take a really sharp knife that has a smooth edge not the little jaggedy edge and then you can just, this is going to be better if you cut it in two because too many little pieces these small pieces of kale are going to come out so you can cut it on a diagonal or just in the middle okay but when you get down here you want to make sure you get contact all the way to your surface and pull don't leave the nori intact on the bottom or when you pull it apart there's going to be a drag effect and it's going to pull your items out but instead what you want is a clean cut and there you have it how to eat two pounds of kale really i'm going to eat all this so it's about two and a half pounds so that's how you do it every dang day in the kitchen of love and light bye i can't believe we didn't have a taste test do y'all see how Moist and delicious. Everything you need in there and nothing you don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I also feel healed in a way that those things lie dormant. You know what I mean? Almost like lie in remission. And they have for a decade. And there they will lie. Because no amount of cheesy tasting goodness is worth me hurting. Nothing tastes better than how I feel feels. Nothing tastes better than feeling good feels. Nothing. No temporary moment of drinking, drugging, fooding is better to me than the mental clarity upon which I ride. You know? Um, so anyway. Hey. And you bring it up and you squeeze and you take it down and you squeeze and you bring it up and you squeeze and you bring it down and you squeeze it. <laughs> Here you go, baby, I love